What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here. So recently I had somebody request a video on how to install resource packs, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys today. Now this video will be a little bit different from my mod tutorials simply because I won't be showing you a mod, um, it'll just be the installation. So what you're going to need is MC Patcher and then some sort of resource pack. Today I will be using Mises Texture Pack because that's what I like to use in Minecraft. Uh, the plain default texture pack to me is just... A little bit bland and boring, so I like to use Mises. So I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off, if you want to download Mises Texture Pack, if you're interested in using that, go ahead and scroll down to the main download link one right here. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll take you to an ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right-hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad, and then this will bring us over to a media fire and a green button should appear here eventually to download the mod or the texture pack. So that is how to download Mises texture pack. Now for MC Patcher, the most important file that you will be downloading, you want to go ahead and scroll down and you can, either, you can either download this from Adfly or direct, whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading it from Adfly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything you will need to successfully install a resource pack. So when you're ready to install the resource pack, go ahead and just open up MC Patcher. Now when you first open this, a window will probably pop up saying that this file may be able to harm your computer. It won't harm your computer, I promise you, so just allow it to open. So the main thing we're going to focus on is this checklist right here. So we have extended HD. This will provide support for cu custom animations, HD fonts, MIP mapping, and other graphical features. So say the texture pack changes the way a water uh, moves with the, the animation for it, then you're going to need to have this selected. Then we have random mobs. What this does is it'll make it to where you won't have the same cow. Like all the cows won't look the same. They'll have different textures, um, so they'll look a little bit different. Then we have custom colors. Um, this gives texture packs control over hard-coded colors in the game. I don't really know of an example that I can give you guys for this. Um, so just keep that checked off in case your texture pack does do that. Then we have connected textures. I really don't like to have the connected textures on. It makes my texture pack look a little bit weird. So I go ahead and turn that off. And when I turn the connected textures off, it also turns off the better glass because the better glass turns or the better glass plays into the connected textures a little bit. But again, I really don't like how the better glass looks either, so that's fine with me being checked off. Then we have better skies, and then the custom item texture. Now what the custom item textures will do is it'll, if the texture pack has some sort of different look for like the swords and any of the tools and stuff like that, or anything else really, then it'll allow it to change it in Minecraft. So you're going to want to have that checked off because most texture packs will do that. So once you've got everything checked off that you want to be checked off, go ahead and just simply hit patch and MC Patcher will go ahead and do its thing and patch your Minecraft jar. So once your Minecraft jar is patched, go ahead and close down MC Patcher. Now launch your Minecraft launcher. And you're going to want to go ahead and come down to edit profile. And you will want to select release 1.6.2 MC Patcher. This is what the MC Patcher has done. It's made a new um, version to use so you can use resource packs. So here we go. Select that. Hit save profile. Then you go ahead and play. And once Minecraft has started, you can go ahead and close down the Minecraft launcher. Now you can either just go straight to options here and then resource packs and then install it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it while you're in game. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in my world here. And you want to hit escape, of course, to go to the game menu, then options, resource packs, and then do open resource pack folder. Now minimize Minecraft here so you can take your uh, resource pack zip file from your desktop and simply drag it into the resource packs folder. You go ahead and close that down. Now open Minecraft back up and you can see Mises texture pack has showed up right here. So if I go ahead and click on that, it'll take a little bit to switch over and then just go ahead and hit done and done and then back into game and now you can see that I do have Mises texture pack installed so it's very very simple to install resource packs 
um, really not difficult at all. So there you go. That is how to install a resource pack. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If you could, please leave a comment down below suggesting mods for future mod tutorials or any other Minecraft tutorial that you can think of. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys 